Hello, my fellow seamen of the water and waves of the ocean. I'm Mr. Church, and today we're going to be building a boat. Um, and to start off, go to a workshop or somewhere where there's a lot of flat, open land, and we're going to be building a blueprint. Now, this is pretty crucial to the build. It's probably the only difficult part of the build, but if um, you don't get it right, it will be difficult to deal with. Now, <clears throat> just follow along as best you can. Now, I'm turning these in, lining up that ghostly white underneath image with the tile edge, if that makes any sense at all. This is how I'm going to measure to make sure each side is, you know, symmetrical. So I'm turning it and I'm lining up that line of the ghost piece with the actual piece. And I'm slowly going to be turning in um, these foundation pieces to make a bow like shape and um, as you go you're going to want to um, be making sure the corners are touching each other and that they are as smoothly together as possible because that's going to be your structure of the ship which you'll see as you know later on as we go now if you need to pause this slow it down rewind whatever do that this this part is a little tricky and you want to make sure you get it right see this there's a little um there's a little bit of a gap there and if you need to line things up corner to corner instead of side to side it's a lot easier because they don't have that snapping problem um, which is why i've done what i just did there and it's a little bit of a mess let me kill these real quick okay there we go more trash can plans and um, as I work, I have all these outside pieces just to keep things square and to have uh, like a anchor piece for what I'm building. <clears throat> now, if you are thinking to yourself, well, you sound a lot worse than usual. I appreciate that. Um, I'm actually probably healing from what I think is bronchitis and uh this video is delayed for that reason i was hoping to get it out a few days ago um, but that wasn't going to happen when i was coughing and sounded like johnny cash not that that's a problem but it was just a very um budget johnny cash that i wouldn't pay to go see and i love johnny cash so you know that's pretty bad um let's uh just move these in and then of course rotate and we're lining up the the ghost pieces this time two tiles in so that there is a bend and it slowly bends and then we're going to make sure that corner is correct put that there get rid of that and we we continue to where you can see there's a there's a shape emerging and then um yeah just just make sure things are are good keep on you know working towards that overall shape and it doesn't have to be exactly the same shape as the one i'm making here it just has to mimic a boat shape and you have to be able, and try to make it symmetrical um, as best you can that's why i have it centered over this big crack in the pavement that's actually helping me um, keep it centered and symmetrical and why i built it here at the airport um, and i'm going to show you how to make the front part and for the back part i'm going to be attaching a well it's basically the bay window blueprint that we've done before so when i get to that part i'm going to include a little card up in the top right hand corner for you to click on if you don't know how to make that blueprint it's the exact same blueprint as we've done before and i didn't want to lengthen what is already going to be a pretty long video by adding in something that i've covered before so uh, you may need if you you know get to that point you know how to pause this video pull that one up to finish off this this full blueprint and uh, I apologize for that because it's it's annoying. Um, but like I love annoying people, and that's why I have this channel. I thought, you know, what's the best way I can be annoying to a large group of people all all the time? And so I thought, well, I could get into politics, but I wanted to have a little bit more self-respect. So I thought, video game, yeah, I'll I'll make that. So up here, we can't do the double wall thing. Um, so I'm going to use this catwalk here, and that'll allow me to snap this wall facing this way. And you should be able to do it on both sides, unless, of course, 
you've got some uh, interaction here with the problem being that the corners are too close together. So I'm just going to move this around a little bit um, to try to get it more centered and lined up so that the wall will fit in there. Um, and it's it, it, it'll take some time to get this, um, but once you have that blueprint, I think, you know, anytime you want to build a boat, you'll have that boat blueprint ready to go, then you snap it down. Uh, so you can look at it as a waste of time, but you can also look at playing this game in general as a waste of time. So it all depends really on your perspective. And isn't that what life's all about anyway? And, <clears throat> well, I don't really think that we need to get into that too deeply. But um, I thought this would be fun to build. Now, actually, what started this all was uh, someone asked a while ago if it was possible for me to use the uh, bay window blueprint to like make a boat shape and I thought you know that's actually a really interesting idea let me see what I can do and then seven months later I delivered now it's been it's been a long time but to be honest I've been waiting for a long time to release this because I knew from data mind images that the haunted house set was coming and with it uh, the porthole, basically, walls, which I really thought would add a lot to the ship. So I waited because, and I'm glad I did, because I think it's going to look awesome once we get this all put together. Now, if you're wondering what's going on here, I actually burned the these half walls so that I could remove the floor out from underneath them. Um, and then I've repaired them just so I could snap stuff back in. And I have these ones out here as anchor pieces. And the reason why we're doing this is we want all the walls, these half walls need to be facing inward um, because when we go to blueprint this, let me get rid of that extra piece, it'll uh, flip all those foundations so they're all gonna be facing inwards and uh, let's lengthen it out the back here. So this is actually the, you're going to go down three pieces and that's three uh, flat sides. And then back there is that bay window foundation. Now that's, there's a gap there obviously, but when in yours, build it right up against here. So there's no gap here. So it's going to be a continuation. I have that separated so you can see what part is the um, bay window blueprint and what part is the rest of it. So you're going to be building them together, but actually connect it as one. And I'm going to put my camp down over here. I am building in the south of the Savage Divide in an ocean. It's a it's a lake uh, near the bear on the map. I don't think I actually got a picture, but this is the oh, this is what it's going to look like when you're done. It's going to be this one continuous piece. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so you're just going to move around until you can find, as you can see, there's the the, blue, the bay. Wow, let me try that once more, this time with English. The bay window blueprint is right up connected to the rest of what I showed before. Just find a place where it'll go down and try to sink it as low into the water as you can because we want the foundation part to be basically not visible. We just wanna be able to see the walls. So get it as low as possible. It'll be like a hair above the water if you get it down. Um, now, uh, once you have it placed, you'll see that all of this was worth it. As you can see, those walls facing inward flipped all those foundations. So now we have one piece. And now as I get ad adoration from friends, I'm going to uh, change these walls out for the porthole ones. Uh, this, this portion of the video is filmed in the dark because I didn't want anyone to see me because I was on someone else's property and I didn't want to get caught and arrested. Um, actually, um, I don't really like getting arrested that much. So um, this part is filmed in the dark, but as I got the rights to the land and was able to not be a squatter anymore, 
I was able to film in the, the light. But, but uh, as the sun rose, we are just going to start building here. We're going to build a little stair and then a platform that goes up. And as you can see, you're going to want to put in that upper floor first, and then you can snap those walls underneath it. And with that bay window blueprint, it really adds a really nice shape to the back there. And uh, it is sped up a little bit. Um, I tried to kind of zip through some of these more obvious placements because it's a long fucking video. There's a lot to do, but mostly... I didn't want to leave anything out because it's also a little weird and complex, especially the beginning part. But this part, we're just placing down walls and floors. It'll be fine. You guys, you guys can slow the video down. You can pause it. You can stop and you can put a little comment in the comments section that says you absolute butt fuck. And I'll say, ouch, cause that, that'll hurt my feelings. And, uh, so I'll be sad. And then let's, uh, this for this pointy part we can't put in upper floors obviously so we're going to use roofs as the floor now to do this we're going to build the roof you're going to change it so that it sticks up enough to be burned and then we're going to well you don't have to switch it first you can just build it like this like i just did here and that will be you know less work and you're going to do that um up this way and as you can see we're just going to build that in like so and you're gonna burn it and uh, once you once you have it intersecting you can replace it with a flat one no problem whatsoever um, and then they will intersect easily and then you can just you know just enjoy uh, repairing and replacing and then then you'll have your flatness now this one we can just stick it up like that put that in like that <clears throat> now we can just put this back down sometimes when you burn and repair stuff it turns green like that and you can either quit the game which i've tried doing and you can also just burn it again um, it all depends on how you feel about people exploiting your microtransactions and your uh, sense of nostalgia to me personally i enjoy it i am like i enjoy pain being caused to me because I'm a masochist and so that's why I, I enjoy that really deeply now on the back here um, we're gonna put uh, three walls down uh, believe me it'll be three and I'm using these new this new Halloween set which I love I absolutely love but I, it does need a, a plain slant piece because not every single roof is going to have a dormer on it when you're looking at a house that exists in the world so that's a big um um oversight perhaps i'm hoping bethesda if you're watching this because i know you guys watch my videos obviously why wouldn't you i'm probably on your priority first first thing in the morning oh he posted a video let's go watch someone ranting and raving about how much they hate us no uh but like please if you guys want to like maybe spread the word a little bit that we could have some non-dormer slant pieces for the not the halloween set only but there's another set coming out as well that's going to have the same issue where it's not going to have any normal slant piece that's a problem because not every build is going to need dormers not every roof piece is going to want dormers even if the build has dormers they're 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 a uh finesse decoration they're not a spam thing you don't have them all over the place see burn this again if it's green um and it'll fix it <clears throat> sometimes not always don't quote me on that i'm gonna put some netting as you can see you will have a little bit of foundation that overlaps and sticks out a little bit and this is a good way to kind of disguise that and this will kind of look like something there and this will give this ship like a little old rusty look i want to put this on the front so what i'm going to do is let's put down a carpet here and uh that'll cover up that hole a bit and then we're going to put this defensive structure sticking out as much as we dare this will be a nice little lookout area on the front of our boat and then we can take a turret trap flame bit and burn that and then we can put the walls back how we had them and uh let's see if turning this to wood will be good um 
<clears throat> actually I'm gonna burn that and I'm gonna put another layer up for the point. That'll be good. Repair it. Looks good, looks good. Uh, too, too fast, too fast, but you'll see later when it's not 700 speed. Now I really like these cement barricades. These are a good addition to the game. Um, I was happy they added them, and that's usually not a, like a sensation that I'm familiar with, happiness, joy, whatever that's supposed to be. So I was confused at first, but as I delved into my emotions, I realized that it was a positive emotion rather than a negative one, and that's really rare for me when I'm playing this game lately. So I was really excited to use these, and I'm going to be using them to add some more of that scrappy look. Now, the overall... Um, feel that we're trying to go with for this boat isn't necessarily spooky Halloween, but we're kind of going for like a rundown uh, ship that's been sitting here in the water for a long time, and the person who lives here is using it essentially as a house. It is not, uh, it is not, what's, what ship shape? It's, it's, uh, there's specifically a word to describe it, but of course it's gone because why wouldn't it be when I'm trying to record? I'll remember it as soon as I hit stop recording. But anyway, uh, it, it's, it's, it can't go on the water, it'll sink, um, and we can actually incorporate that feeling when we go below decks in a minute, um, but we're just gonna be burning stuff and then that we, we can kind of overlap it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna switch out some of the side pieces for wood to kind of blend, first of all, that barricade wall we have on the deck, and also kind of give it a little bit more of a swoopy feel in the middle there, and a kind of scrappy feel all together. We have all kinds of textures we wanna use, uh, but this, this new set's amazing because it has that contemporary wall set, but it's more weathered, and it's got those awesome windows I really enjoy the set, and again, just the only the only issue I have with it um, is uh, well, two things: the um, that uh, the roof piece. Oh, that's kind of funny sounding and chipmunk voice. Uh, not really threatening, but thanks for the nuke warning. Uh, anyway, um, the the roof pieces we need more flat ones. Uh, we need flat slant pieces that don't have the dormer. And the other thing is. Uh, when you place the upside down triangle pieces, they uh, have a problem. Anyway, I've had some feedback on some of my videos, so I want to make sure that I'm like listening to you guys and I really want you guys to feel that I do care about your comments and you guys, I read every one of them and I really do take to heart what's told to me and when you guys give me good advice, I take it. And I don't want you guys not being able to see when I'm building and then and it changes to night and I can't, um, what's the word I'm looking for, create out of my ass an entirely new private server. So uh, since I can't change what time it is and the pit boy light's green, I thought maybe I would just make sure you guys could see, you know, because it's getting a little dark. I want you guys to be able to see everything. There's no, because sometimes I know you can't like change the brightness on your device that you're watching and it can be really hard to, to decipher. But as you can see, um, I do care about your feedback and also I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. That's really important to me. So I have a couple of lights I put down. I hope that helps uh, Lord Fajahita or whatever it was. Um, Cause that is sincerely uh, really good feedback and I appreciate it. I'm always trying to improve the quality of my videos for you guys because you guys um, support me, you know, you guys, uh, give me all this, uh, what's the word, uh, sense of the fact that less of, that I don't hate, and that there was no sentence there, so I just gave up, let's forget about it, but anyway, um, hopefully you guys are, are, especially Lord Fajita, are pleased by the outcome there that we were able to, you know, work together to make a better channel for everybody, and you guys can see now, that's good, um, cause like, I know it can be really difficult uh, to, what's the word, um, turn the brightness up on your phone or computer when something is a little too dark to see, um, but I, I want to help on my end if I can, so that's that. Now, below decks here, I'm going to blend some of these barricade defensive walls, and by doing that, I'm just going to burn this wall here. Um, and then we're gonna inner like we're gonna overlap those things together. Now you will see rats sometimes 
underwater in the bilge. Just don't worry about it. It's common in an old ship for there to be some kind of rats and a bubonic outbreak. But as you can hear from my voice, the bubonic plague isn't as bad as you would think. You, you can tank it. Just take a bunch of super stims, disease cures, drink the sulfur water at the White Springs. I don't know. Um, so I burned it, and then I'm going to overlap this one specifically because it's got the tires, which is kind of a nautical thing. You hang the tires on the sides of your ships, so you can bump into stuff without bashing it. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it'll add some nice textures there of scrappiness and joy. And then just repair those, and it'll fill in all the holes around it. Beautiful. Now let's... Let's uh, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to just be putting uh, some uh, stash boxes in the form of suitcases underneath the bed. There's two ways you can do this. You can burn the bed, then place them down, or you can use the drop merge to sink them. I'm going to use the drop merge just so you guys are aware of how it's done. You can use uh, sinky dirt, or you can use a pressure plate that's being depressed, a mannequin will depress it because a mannequin is coded as an NPC, um, which is very cool information that no one asked for, but it's still useful. So you just pick it up and place it down on that depressed button. And the button is depressed, but I wouldn't worry about it too much because they at least have a support system. But if you feel like that button, make sure you talk to someone that you trust and open up about it because people care about you even if you feel like they don't it but it can be shitty sometimes to feel like that pressure plate over there <clears throat> now we're gonna go inside and don't don't look it's it's dark i know but just close your eyes a little bit because it's not time for the reveal yet let's put this in here and oh yeah another thing about these walls is the wallpapers ruined and stuff sinks into them so right here i've stacked let's see three and uh four paintings just to get that to be visible now i'm below decks real quick and i'm gonna switch out these floors which were uh concrete to the wooden ones that will make it look like you know an actual boat um and everything sounds kind of funny because it's all fast but this is the finished product now you'll see outside i did put a gate in the fence around the dock and that kind of makes it look kind of more secure against the because remember someone lives here this is during the apocalypse you find an old boat and you say hey i, I want to live in that boat please and then people let you live in that boat oh no because you just took it you know it's it's the apocalypse they're probably dead but it's nice because we were able to place it so low you don't really see the foundations at all so it does look like it is submerged in the water a bit but it is grounded it's quite close to the shore um and it is just a boat it's not a ship it's not like a it's not like a pirate ship or a sailboat it's it's on a pond or a lake it's not it's not on the ocean so let's calm our tits there a little bit. Ahoy there, matey. As we come in here, I've got piles of shit that we, you know, maybe we just took it off the boat because we don't need it up here. And then up here we have the stuff that we do need or want. I put some punji boards down to kind of look like the floorboards are all kind of ripping up a bit. We have a place for cooking. Um, I put some signs up and I put a little cage in front of that window for security. Um, the, the pirate ship here, has, well, no, it's not a pirate ship. I've, we've been over this. It's, it's a raider flag. Over here, I have like a place to maybe indicate maybe where it used to be driven from because I didn't have a, like a cockpit or anything like that. Now, I have this door here with a curtain, and I also have this security door to close if you need to bolt people out. Um, and then over here, inside, we have our living quarters a kitchen, a dining room, and a little couch area to sit and specifically not fall down the stairs after a drunken stupor is upon us, boarded off windows to keep the, you know, and this, that's facing the land, so I boarded those windows, and this is facing more the pond, so it's a little safer. Um, in here is the bedroom where we have what's specifically a uh, canary and not a parrot, and then we have, uh, let's just close that, a shitty door for the bedroom. Down below, 
I use this gate from the new gate set. I really love this gate and fence. But we have down here the below decks, uh, all the crafting benches that we need. And uh, we have, uh, you know, barrels of, of our stuff. We've got a place for the pirate ship. And I put the um, farmable tiles in this corner here because it looks like flooded. It's flooded. That's where it would have run aground. The tip here is uh, so there's like water. And you can, you know, put different water, different places. We've got a place to poop really bad because I need to because of the magnesium that I ate. And I, because I thought it would help me. Um, digest the iron that I because I, I have an iron but like I don't have an iron deficiency you just had so much iron but I can't process it but that's below decks it's pretty cool um, and above ground of course and again curtain because we live here we want to go in and out easily but yeah that, that was the finished product I'm really happy how this turned out it was it was a few months that I've been planning on this ship and waiting for the set to come out so I could finish it anyway guys I really appreciate you all uh, big shout out to my patrons thank you so much for your support if you guys enjoyed and you have not already consider subscribing it means a lot and helps the channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next video where's the outro clip Where's the outro? Hello? There you are.